For the next few videos in songwriting technique, I decided to take a look at one of my favorite songs by Jonathan Colton, Shop Vac, and explore whatever occurs to me in how he wrote the song. I don't think that he consciously thought of all these things while he was writing the song, but they occurred naturally and they do happen in good songs. So let's, let's take a listen to how this goes. And then we'll just pick it apart in whatever way occurs to me. We took the freeway out of town We found a place to settle down We bought a driveway and a swing set and a dog You got your very own bathroom I got my very own workshop in the basement we sit around staring at the wall to wall Take field trips to our favorite mall Waiting for Shop back, you can call, but I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop back on. You'll be okay, cause you'll be upstairs with the TV. You can cry, and I probably won't hear you because it's loud with the shop back on. Let's examine just this first verse and the chorus because that's most of the whole song except for the bridge and solo and a couple other little sections, but this is the majority of the song. So this divides nicely into little phrases. We took the freeway out of town. We found a place to settle down. And these phrases have the same rhythm with slightly different melodies. Um, something interesting that I notice here is we took the freeway out of town. That's the five note of the key. And we found a place to settle down. There's the one note of the key. There's an E. Another interesting thing that we'll see coming up a lot later is that he starts out the next phrase as if it's going to do the same rhythm as the others. We bought a driveway and a... But then it goes to another place. Swing, set, and a dog. The other thing is that almost this entire phrase before the last word is like a giant pickup. One, we took the freeway out of town. There's where it lands on the one here. So this measure right here is almost like it's the first note of the actual phrase and all this is a pickup. Same thing here. And then we end up with this phrase that goes on further. We bought a driveway and a swing set and a dog. Another thing that you'll notice is the harmony happening below this. Five, one. Five, one. Five, seven of six, six. So we've got this whole uh, adding tension type of thing because we're ending up on the relative minor through kind of these weird chords. Another thing that's happening here is that these three phrases seem to belong together then we've got another couple of phrases. You got your very own bathroom. I got my very own workshop in the basement. Other thing is, you got your very own bathroom. That ends up by itself. I got my very own. It sounds like it's going to do exactly the same thing, and it kind of does. Workshop in the basement. It goes on further than the previous phrase. Plus, there's a little modification of this note here to change it from major to minor. And again, kind of mess with your head and with your emotions about where this song is going just as a, a feeling-wise. I would probably consider this whole section from here up to here the verse, although it is interesting that it changes from these three phrases to these two phrases, but then here, starting at this point, Sit around staring at the wall to wall. Take field trips to our This is definitely a pre-chorus. I would call this a separate section of the song. One of the biggest things now, as it, this occurs to me, harmonically, as it's leading up into the chorus here, is that we get a circular repeating chord progression. One, five of six, six, four, one, five of six, six, four, one, five of six, six, four. Now we get a classic two, five, one. And that's, you see that everywhere, and that's an example of a very strong classical chord progression that is intended to create momentum and set up 
the one chord, boom, right on the first, not counting these pickups, the first note of the chorus. But let's look at the melody again for a second. Here we have a bunch of syncopation. We sit around staring at the wall to wall, a bunch of syncopation there. We have a, a, a similar repetition of that phrase. Again, we're, we're seeing a, a, the same pattern as up here. We're seeing this pattern of, here's one phrase, a repetition of the same phrase, then we get something different. We also uh, write up this chromatic line here as the chords change. But again, we have echoes of the same phrase back here. I'm just doing this off the top of my head, so you might have a better way of explaining this than I do. Let's move on to the phrasing of the chorus. This is kind of cool. Here again, we're seeing that pattern of phrase, repeating the phrase, and then eventually taking the same phrase but adding stuff to it. So, there's once, again, and again. These three are all the exact same little motive. If you need me, I'll be downstairs with the shop vac. Also in sequence, if you'll notice, it's the same pattern of up and down, but it's moving up an extra note each time it repeats. Now, you can call, but I probably won't hear you. This is, this is interesting because this is exactly the same phrase with this extra stuff added in the middle. Here's the, you know, the main phrase is do, 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 do. This Imagine you could skip from these first two notes to these last two notes, and you have the original phrase. You've got this measure inserted in the middle there. So the ending of this one is the same as the ending of all these. The beginning of it is the same as the beginning of all these, but there's extra stuff in the middle. Because it's loud with the shop back on. The other thing that happens here is you'll notice this is, again, an eight-measure phrase. We've got a pickup, and uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here's your pickup to the next set of eight measures. Because it's loud with the shop back Another thing that's fairly obvious, but that uh, you kind of have to do all over the place in songwriting, is the very ends of each of these sections, this ends on a half cadence, a five. Five is the bass note. And this one ends on a full case. So, uh, the melody is modified slightly to be loud with the shop vac on, and it, relative to the whole key, it's four, three, two, one, three, two. It ends on two, which is the five note of the five chord, if that makes sense. And here at the end, we have four, three, two, one, seven, one, one. We end up with the root of the one chord. That's all for today. I'll ramble more about this next time. I hope you enjoy it. Please ask questions if you have them. Make comments. I would like to hear if, if you're watching this and if you find it interesting. Thanks a lot.